everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing Shaco mid lane into Katarina. Um, I think the matchup shouldn't be as hard as maybe a ranged matchup and playing quite a bit of Shaco. The reason for playing Shaco mid lane is because, of course, it is April 1st, so it is an April Fools video, and I didn't really have anything prepared, so I figured that maybe I can just play a, someone who's kind of a prankster, right, with Shaco, so I'd like to apologize that you know didn't have anything too planned and hopefully we can make do with with this um so yeah as you guys also know i've been having a uh, webcam issues for the past like couple days so thankfully um it came in today so we got a brand new webcam to work with and it looks so much better than the old one i think that just picks up uh just me better. I think that I look way better with it. So anyways, uh, I want to also like apologize for not doing something that a lot of people have been asking me to do because there's been comments about me doing an April Fool's video, like day 50 or whatever of like doing a skit. The thing is, I don't know how to do skits. I've never done them before. So this is all I got. Um, I playing Shaco, so I mean and I got a new webcam so you know just to show it off I mean look how much better it looks I mean I think it looks way way better than what it used to be in the past so um laning is starting and we will just uh go for a lane shove early on the thing that Shaco wants to do is just kind of farm out until you get to around Lyandries of course you can you can still get people. The whole entire idea of Shaco is putting down traps, causing them to go for you when you're low by putting yourself in danger all the time and getting yourself very vulnerable to die. And then you have your ultimate and you have your traps set up to counter that. So that's what Shaco's all about. Nice, we hit her there. A little bit of poke damage. We'll just uh, use our E on her since she jumped on us. We can just put a trap down here. And our main goal during the early game is just farming out until we get to uh, certain spikes of items. And then we TP back because we don't have the luxury of having flash. We have TP, so... Whenever she turns her back to me, I also deal bonus damage. Shaco deals bonus damage when people are running away. So that helps out a little bit as well. I'm just gonna stay somewhat far back. There's no reason to like put myself in danger of dying. I can just let this wave be, just like this. And then we just farm it under tower. I'm already happy with the early game, so. Put a point into my trap. So now I'm going to be able to buy boots and a dark seal. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to base here and go buy our items. So we're going to have an item up on her. She doesn't have TP. She might even base herself if she really wants to like try to play like the laning phase smart. Where it's just like, okay, I created a slow pushback towards you. So just base. So we'll just shove it out then. No problemo for me. Didn't miss cannon. Will she walk into this? No. I guess uh, she just went for a base because she already did all of her camps. Dang, dude. That would have been so sick to have her walk into me.
Who do we have? Diana jungle. Oh, nice. She accidentally walked into my trap. So a little bit of damage off on Katarina there. If she walks into like a trap as well, and we see that she walks into it, if you have a trap already uh, ready, sometimes you can place it to fear them twice in a row. Because when they walk into it, like right there, she got hit by it. But unfortunately, I didn't have anything really ready. Decent pokes though, that's for sure. And then we can just try to keep the wave permanently mid like this. I'm just going to put a trap down here. We're trying to make it so it's not in the wave, but it still creates a lot of pressure. Or at least like jungle pressure too. I don't know if I'm actually going to get ganks. I don't know if people even trust me. But... They might be able to come in. The Shaco scaling is pretty good though. Like level 9 you're very strong because that's when your box is at max. And uh, your boxes last longer with AP. The more AP that you buy, the, lo the longer it lasts. So that's super nice for late game when you have a ridiculous amount of AP. Man, he's going to escape maybe. Oh wait, maybe not. Nice. Where the hell is the Katarina at? Oh, there she is. Oh my goodness. Dang, I was hoping that maybe she would run into my trap there. That's why I started walking back over, but clearly that didn't happen. Still CS-wise, we're doing completely fine. Lyandries is a massive, massive buy once you finally finish it because of the CDR. And then also just the damage of the burn is really strong inside teamfights. In my experiences so far, even if I like don't have the best Shaco game, um, I still perform so damn well damage-wise for like team fights and things. Are you serious? Wow. What is Katarina though? No, she's just gone. Not much that I can do. I'll just uh, collect the minions that they couldn't get. Which is basically the whole wave. I'm trying to backstab these minions, otherwise I can't get them. God, Katarina's kind of gross. Being able to kill my Diana that way. I want to be able to buy my lost chapter. That's going to help out a lot with just being able to stay on the map longer. So I'm just going to quickly shove it out. She might try to freeze it. Maybe. Okay, cool. She did. And then we can just immediately rotate back mid. My runes this game are just uh, going Comet because how it works is when you use Comet... Every single time your W hits somebody, it reduces the cooldown. So you can actually get off multiple comets inside of one rotation if you have like two boxes down. So it's just super, super powerful. I'm going to miss Cannon for doing that, but we got a good chunk off, I guess. I don't have my slow because I already used on her. Nice, we got her. Well played, Diana. I noticed that she was walking over as if like she knew that Diana was doing uh, the Rift Herald, so I got scared that maybe I wouldn't be able to help. Thankfully, they're doing dragon at the same time, so nobody died. I guess I can stick around. There's nothing for me to do. I can just put down some traps all over the place. 
you kind of want to keep them somewhat close to each other. Because I want to make it so if she jumps on me, she walks into multiple of them. A little bit of damage, but not really that insane. I'm going to get the cannon as well. Now, how your traps work is that it has single target damage that deals, like, double. So, the goal is trying to get them into the single target damage. I have TP here, so I just want to TP back. So, that's why you always want to put them, like, on corridors. Because if you're hitting minions and them at the same time, it doesn't do anything. I should have never used a trap there. I just used so many creeps for no reason. But her wave flare is pretty nuts. It's kind of annoying. But so is mine, I guess. I just need to start setting up these traps now that we're level 9. Just put them all over the place. We can use one to wave flare, and then every single wave we can, like, apply, like, three for ourselves. We can even put one, like, behind us. Where this one is, in case she jumps into the wave. Just make it very annoying for her to play the game. These minions are really trying to make my life more difficult, though. There is no reason to hold on to our traps. Really. You should just always be using it, probably. Damn, dude. My clone died? It didn't die. Wow, that's impressive that it didn't die. I'm actually kind of surprised. There's another trap there. That's funny. We almost got her. I think that if I played that better, I would have killed her. I wonder what I did wrong, though, to make it so she wouldn't be able to kill my clone before she killed me. I guess I could have... used my Q out earlier? Maybe? God, that was so damn close to getting her. Literally just needed the clone to die. Because when it explodes, it deals damage, it fears them, and then it places down boxes as well. So. Bro, what are you doing? That was kind of weird that she did that. It's okay that we're tanking creeps here. Oh, but my... Thing. My jack-in-the-box got used. No, I couldn't get out. Oh, but my, my ultimate behind them, though. Oh, that's such a big box. Oh, my God. That was huge. Thank you, Diana, for being around the corner. I almost lived because I use my ultimate. Uh, how your ultimate works is that it's kind of like a Zhonya's. You literally disappear off the map. You can use it to dodge Karthus ulti. I think I used it there to maybe dodge her ult. Oh, I didn't. I thought I dodged the damage, but if I was able to shun... Oh, God, what? I keep on saying Shempo. Deceive? I might have been able to live. I didn't do it fast enough. Um, but I went forward because the cat was already so low, so I ignited plus E. So your E has an execute where if they're below 30%, it does bonus damage. And then if they're also running away, once you get, you get the bonus damage from this as well. So like both of those combined just deal a ridiculous amount. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to prevent this. Oh wait, I have my trap. Oh my god, she's going to... I'm not going to be able to... Oh! I'm not going to be able to kill these guys, I think. I don't have my Landry's yet. It's kind of the big thing. But she lived. The thing how your trap works is that if somebody uses a dash into it, some... It's not all dashes. Some dashes get cancelled. 
So it canceled Recon Dash. <laughs> Which is pretty nice. Wait, my clone didn't go? Damn, dude, I was trying to use my clone to... Whatever. I should have sent my clone back and then jumped over this wall. It's okay, we'll just help out our Jinx here. Oh, nice job, like, body blocking that. Put down another trap. Yeah, the Recon is not having that good of a game. I'm trying to help. Oh my god, dude. I was so worried that she was going to get, like, a pentacle there. And now we have our items. So we're going to be really strong now. Our boxes are going to last, like, a minute because our AP is higher as well. And then we're going to build a bunch of CDR. Uh, Zhonya's, of course, is super damn effective on Shaco, but there's other... Oh. That guy ran into my box that was in the jungle. <laughs> That's so funny. He was trying to run away because he accidentally stepped in one box and got really low and stepped into the other one. <laughs> That I put down earlier. You can also just box up enemy jungles. I've seen this before. Sometimes you can just like also uh, farm with one while keeping the rest in the jungle. And then just always go back in over and over again. So you just do this. I don't know how I didn't get that cannon. but And then just go straight back. The Recon might face check this. Oh. If she ultis me, I'll just ulti, so that's why I don't really care about her going on me. I'm still okay here. I can get away with doing so much random stuff. You just want to be super annoying. <laughs> Put down a trap. I don't think I'm going to be able to get her, but it would be pretty cool if I did. I'm not going to be able to do it. I think uh, Katarina, like, head top or something? Where's Cat? I'm just going to put a trap down. I got him. The Jace, the Jace probably would have killed my Malphite too, so thankfully we're around the corner, but I think he saw me rotating over, which is uh, exactly why he went out on him there. I got really scared, so I used Hit her. God, they are so pressured. Not just by me, but by everybody. I just wanted to use the ultimate because I put myself in a position where I almost died. So I got kind of scared. Oh my god, there's another trap. Everybody keeps walking into these traps that I put down and I forget about them because they last so damn long. Uh, for next item, I'm just gonna build more CDR. I'm not gonna build a dark, or finish my dark seal and to build a Magi just yet. I'm gonna continue uh, keeping what I have now. Maybe we can even do blue buff too. There's a recon. They have done a very good job of getting dragons this game, so there could be a problem of if we accidentally, like, lose a fight hard.
that uh they can come back. I think he knows that that's not me, but that's okay. He's still dead regardless. Can't escape it. So using your uh, ultimate as a way to just start off a fight is really effective, especially versus champions that don't... Let's check in. Maybe I need to help out with this. Okay, well, at least I clean up the kill afterwards. Let's put a trap down here. They they have faffed, really, dude. I was going to use my ultimate there because it just came back up. I literally just used it, too. Dang. Well, hopefully it was still a, a pretty good commentary. You know, maybe we can uh, run it back and do another video because that that one was kind of short. But, uh, yeah, AP Shaco, um, pretty strong champion in the mid lane if you know what you're doing as you can see my damage was super high uh lyandries once again does so damn much inside of team fights if people just accidentally step into your box it hurts so hard uh so yeah i think that i wasn't the the you know carry for the team but i did what i needed to do and maybe we can get another game of it as well so thanks for watching guys bye hey everybody welcome to the second game of the uh commentary video uh hopefully this game goes a little bit longer than the last one it probably will this is actually like one of the first ap shaco games that i have to play versus vex so it's kind of a bummer that i have to play versus something so difficult because i'm pretty sure any ranged matchup is going to be way harder than playing versus melees i think melees are just way more difficult then, uh, then this. So good luck to us versus Vex. I mean, at least her her harass isn't as good as like probably like a Syndra or even a LeBlanc. That would have probably been harder than this. So at least we have a little bit going for us in this game. Yeah, she even kills the boxes, like, somewhat fast. Cool, she didn't auto-attack me for Electrocute proc, at least. We got that first wave shove going on. Did we want to shove the wave this damn hard to the point that I have to step up, though? Maybe not. But so far, so good, you know? I'm not really being pressured that much. She's hitting this wave, so this is actually going to come back towards me as well. So we can just sit back here and just chill. Not even going to miss any creeps for doing this as well. Our main goal is still the same. Just try to survive the laning phase long enough that I can do other things afterwards. She's not using her E. There she goes. Ouch. And now I have my Q, so I'll have an easier time surviving ganks. And we can just double trap this one just to make it so I get all of this farm. The wave is... Is he gonna die? No. Okay, cool. He lived. So the thing is that uh, I left the wave when she had like one more caster than me. So as you can see, it kind of slow pushed just barely. So I think that she might have missed just a tiny, tiny more creeps than I did. So the smallest of leads for ourselves. Man, everybody likes killing my boxes. It's really annoying. <laughs> it's 
super annoying. He's gonna rotate back bot because Vex is coming back mid, but that's okay with me. I'm up a pretty significant amount of CS here, so. I want to just take this with uh, my E here because I'm a little bit worried about being ganked. I have not seen this Talon literally all game long. I have no idea where he possibly could be. Also, I'm starting to get to the uh, HP that <clears throat> makes me killable. So that's another threat. Because Vex does have ways of killing me through her passive. If she jumps on me from this HP, like Flash W Ignite, and then chases me down, even if I jump away, I might not be able to uh, get enough distance to live. good i'm not gonna die so i'm pretty happy with how much gold i have so i'm just gonna base here and we can just buy uh probably ap i think that going for not ap sounds pretty damn bad like if i went like level two boots for instance i don't think that'd be very good that's warded And we're finally getting to the point that we can start using our uh, boxes to set up plays rather than... Uh, actually, I mean, she is not a melee, so maybe I can't set up too many plays. I don't really know what I can set up, but I'm just rotating straight bot right now. Maybe I can uh, use my clone behind tower. Damn, bro. This is not turning out very good, huh? I'll live, though. She can't get me, I believe. I wasn't able to get the Talon, dude. It took so long for my clone to expire, and he had a jump. That was kind of annoying. I just was getting that one creep because nobody else was going to get it. That's why I stayed. My wave mid isn't that bad. Vex at least used her ignite as well. I mean, it's good that my team was able to clean up basically every single kill besides the Talon. Maybe if I put my trap down in his escape. Because he did jump over this wall, so I know he wouldn't use that one. I don't know, every Shaco game feels really easy to play as long as we just get to Lyandries and we're already doing good CS-wise. Nice, I even got that cannon. I was worried that I was going to miss it for a second. Don't want to get hit by that. We can just put a box down somewhere. There's no reason to hold on to it. Ezreal might be dead. If he lands it, I can kill. Oh, I got her, I got her. Nice. We'll played, we'll played. Can we save Annie? She did. Oh! 
Okay, let's go. <laughs> nice. Oh, no. Man. Why'd that have to happen, man? It's... Gosh. God damn it. Well, whatever, dude. The thing is about when you use your clone, if you just auto attack people, they can't really run away and they don't want to hit you either because they don't want to accidentally proc the clone. So... Man. Oh, did I just mess up this creep? Oops. So that's why it took so long. And then also, you're just waiting for the clone to eventually expire, as you saw, and we got the Talon with it. So, that's why it worked out pretty well for us. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anybody here. I'm just going to leave. Seraphine's a bit annoying. I'm just gonna hit her with uh, that there for a little bit of poke damage. Wow, that landed on me. Ouch. I wonder if I can get her to ulti me. If she ultis me and I just walk into my box, she's gonna get immediately feared. Almost walked into that. Wow. That red buff is really annoying. I think that maybe we just shouldn't even be poking her because that red buff ruins all of my plays. We almost have our uh, item as well. Being able to buy our landries here is going to be massive. My bot lane is doing pretty good too. Ooh, I think Vex might rotate top. So that should shove out. I have my Lyandries. I'm level 9. Massive spike for the, our game here. I got him. Also, they stepped in my trap. That's the thing. Whenever you're going to get into a skirmish, just start putting traps down in like the paths of either escapes or other people coming in. She kill my oh no wait I'm okay I think unless Draven has a ult damn we're kind of popping off right now it's going great honestly the Vex matchup feels better than the Katarina matchup I'm gonna buy a sweeper. I'm, I'm so, so fed right now. Got that. So I'm gonna start rotating bot, but I'm actually not gonna rotate. I'm just putting down traps in the jungle for them to run into. We can't overcommit because what's going to happen is uh, she killed my box and that was like keeping me safe in case uh, the Talon comes over. God, my damage though is pretty nuts. Like, that's... That's some crazy poke damage that I'm getting off every single time I press E. Oh, 
I messed it up, man. I should have been able to kill her there. Whatever. I have a lot of good traps down. I can just chill around this angle. What I was trying to do was use my clone underneath the tower to hit her one more time, and then I can kill her with my E, but it didn't work out. I'm, yeah, all of my box are going to uh, go off here. Didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Let's put a trap down here. Let's walk on over to this fight. And I'm here, and I'm leaving. No, the ignite got me for real. Wait, why didn't he see me put that down? What is he doing? What? What is that? Was that? I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know what to say. Yay, me! I'm smurfing. <laughs> The thing is that I think that he would have, if he did notice that, I think he would have ran all the way back to Raptors and walked into that other trap, so I, I feel like I had most entrances covered. But nice, we're getting so much AP during the early game, so that's just making it so we always have our traps up. It's already, it already lasts 63 seconds this early in the game. Okay, I'm just gonna put a trap down to wave clear this. And then we'll go bot. Go side lane. Start putting some traps down everywhere. Top lane is an actual island. They've just been farming up there, and that's it. My team's gonna get into skirmish as soon as I go bot. Please don't. Please, please wait for me. No. Okay, well, I'm, I'm rotating over. We'll see if we can maybe clean up the play. I wasn't able to clean it up. Oh, I was able to get the Draven, though. I mean, I got two of them. But it's not really what I wanted. Uh, I obviously wanted the fight to be a bit better than that. I have Cosmic Drive already. Man, I'm excited. <laughs> Getting this many items this early? Holy crap. This is looking good. Okay, we have our TP still. You know, Dragon's not going to be up for quite some time. Um, Rift is coming up pretty soon. Vex got a massive quadra kill there. Almost a penta. What I try to do with my uh, clone is send it behind me, and then when I come in, it uh, it tethers and comes back to you. So you send it back to bring it back, but it felt like it didn't even work. Although I saw it at the end, so maybe I just didn't see the tether. So maybe it did work, but I just wasn't paying attention enough. We can just start putting traps everywhere again, because we might get into another skirmish. Wow, uh, Vex is kind of trolling a little bit. That was very bad by her to die that way. Okay, that guy's gonna leave. 
Uh, but then he's gonna walk back in. We have a lot of good traps down, just in case anybody collapses on us. Okay, well, I'm just gonna have my clone die here. I just want this uh, cannon. Maybe I can just go back into the jungle too. Oh, but there's a ward here. Damn, dude. And I don't have sweeper yet. Guess I can go bot. This is my safety. If Talon jumps on me, then this will immediately fear him. Nice, I got a little bit of damage on him there. He's walking back into his jungle. We see where Vex is, so we're pretty safe here to clear this. We can just put traps absolutely everywhere. Damn, dude. I lost track of my clone, so I lost it. I'm just gonna eat him for a little bit of poke damage. We have our trap coming up pretty soon, too. I'm just gonna put the trap down here. Oh, I killed it immediately. I keep on e-spamming to try to get him, but... I got him. I'm just gonna sit on top of the trap! Dang! Get, get on top of the trap, maybe... No, actually, Annie will be safe to my teammate. Never mind. If this Talon jumps away to try to live, he might jump into it, too. No, dude, there's so many traps. Oh my god, he's gonna run into one. No! Yes! No! The Seraphine? No! Run to this one! This is so damn... I... I hate Seraphine. <laughs> she... She ruined everything. Dude, imagine if he walks into this one after all that happened. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna go Death Cap next. Let's let's make it so we have a ridiculous amount of AP. They're not on it, are they? I, I wanna see. They aren't. I'm gonna put traps down around it. I wanna make it so if they come in, they step on my traps more so than uh, like using it to DPS Dragon, which is already difficult enough. Wow, he didn't get feared by my trap even though he walked into it. He walked into my trap! Nice, they killed my clone. That's not what they wanted to do. I got him. I got him. I got this guy too. Wait, what? Okay, she took a little bit longer to die, but we eventually got her. Put the thing behind him. Just spam E on this guy as he's running away. Yeah, so what I did is I swept and I walked into this brush to pretend that I walked in. And then I just send the clone out, pretending that it's me. Now, of course, some people noticed from the very beginning, I think Seraphine knew that wasn't me because she's focused on me. But other people ha have their cameras all over the place. If you have your camera like here, you're just going to see Shaco walk outside of the brush. Like, for instance, Gnar. And then that becomes really confusing. The thing is that sometimes uh, doing these plays, even though it might be seem super obvious to you, because you're the one doing it, and also it makes sense on Vision. It's just like, well, of course, the one that walked into the brush is going to be the the fake one. But there's a lot of other stuff happening inside of team fights, So they can't pay attention to literally everything. Once you're faker, I guess. <laughs> no! My trap! Oh my god, help me! Right here! Give me a... I'm gonna... Oh my god, dude. I, I walked over to Annie because I was gonna die in case I got um, an Annie shield. 
so thank you for that. Now we're, now we're gonna go top here. Death cap is so soon. My traps almost last for a minute and a half, 90 seconds. It's actually such a long time. I can have down like 10 traps at once. You don't really have that much magic resist, really. I'm just gonna start putting traps down everywhere. I could probably beat this guy in a 1v1, to be honest. Like, my poke is kind of nuts. No, I'm gonna die, though, because I'm bad. Um, dude? Oh my god. I, what if I bought my death cap in the middle of it? I think that I... Uh, I didn't play it that badly, but I feel like my Q cooldown is not what I'm used to. I thought that it was going to be even shorter. Plus, I didn't really bring him into the box, but it was kind of difficult to. I intentionally got hit low because I wanted to make it so my clone would have an easier time proccing, but in reality, maybe that wasn't a smart idea. I mean, I'm not going to play everything flawlessly. I had an idea, though. I was super close to being able to beat him. We're probably going to go Void Staff next. Uh, actually, maybe not. I don't really know what to go next. The only person that has MR is this guy, actually. So... Uh, let's just start putting down traps, you know? Let's get that guy's, uh... Edge of Night. And then go back down to... Putting traps down everywhere. And I lost my trap. I'm just gonna eat this guy. Big damage there. Hey, Talon, what's up? You can jump on me if you want. I don't mind. Ow! I tried to get him. It wasn't successful. I really wish I had Zhonya's or my ultimate now so I can go under tower. I don't know what Scion was trying to do there. Them having all this vision control is so bad for me. I'm gonna use the blast cone to send over the trap. If you didn't know, if you... Oh wait, maybe I can send it now. Ow! Maybe not. I was hoping for it, but... I was hoping to get it underneath tower, but the tower would've killed it too fast. That's why I decided not to do it. Man, I have so many traps down. We should just do dragon. There's no reason to do anything else. All my traps are expiring. We're gonna lose the dragon too. Ezreal's too focused on split pushing and I'm really focused on trying to create this massive sphere of traps but wait really he used ultimate and then ran straight past it wow they are just walking through my damage and it worked the Annie Ezreal is like a really big part of our team, but they've been top for a really long time, so... I, I was hoping that the clone would pop onto the Talon when he damaged, but then he just ran past it. Seraphine is still so annoying. 
Oh well though. <laughs> I still have traps down. That's so funny that they're still here. Is he gonna walk into that? Close. Oh, run into it, please. Oh, massive 300 damage. Honestly, not that bad. He's not gonna die though because he's Talon and this guy is like the luckiest person alive. This Talon should actually buy a lotto ticket. It's kind of incredible how many times he's living. Let's just start putting traps down inside of like entrances and things. That would be our beginning. Oh nice, dodge bro. That was sick actually. We're starting to get decent placement of like a shallow spot. I'm gonna get that guy's edge of night again so he doesn't have it. Nice, he went into my thing. No! Oh! Oh my god, my, my clone popped at the exact moment that he jumped on me. So, he got feared. So he couldn't kill me. I think the game's finally over. My god, what a hard fought game. Or is the game not over? Uh, let's just put down some traps again. Just in case something might happen. You never know. And then we'll use our ultimate here. The deal double the damage. Alright, let's just end. I want to be out of this. Wait, does my clone really not hit the Nexus? So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Shaco game. This game was way longer. This was, in my opinion, more entertaining than the first game. So, sucks that it's the second one, but... Hopefully it's uh, good <laughs> for you guys. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, my April Fool's AP Shaco gameplay. I'm going to give it to Viego. I think he did a good job. We're going to look at the damage dealt afterwards, too. Yeah, it was okay. It wasn't the most or anything, but I still think that I, I did a, a really good job, especially versus Vex. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, about those videos. Um, Show off the webcam again. Different faces. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching again, guys. And I will see you. I, I keep on looking. Whenever I look at this, I'm looking at my OBS rather than a front view. So, hey. Uh, so, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Or whenever you watch me daily. So, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.